ranking every Mega Gobble Gum in Black Ops 3 from worst to best. We are only ranking all of the Mega Gobble Gums, so we're ignoring all of the classics. The worst gum is going to board games. This makes it so that when you repair one barrier, it'll repair all of them, and it only gives you points for the first one. Nobody repairs barriers anymore, and if they do, they usually want to do it for the points. So it's so bad because it's so counterintuitive. The next one is going to board to death. This makes it so that any zombies that are near barriers get killed. I mean, sure. Then we have Secret Shopper, which makes it so that you can buy wall gun ammo for any gun that you have, which sounds amazing, right? Like, oh my god, you can use the Apothecan Servant and just buy ammo whenever you want. Wrong. You can't buy ammo on Wonder Weapons with this Gobble Gum. It's so dumb. Next up, we have Mind Blown, which basically just pops the heads off of any zombies nearby. Um, sure, you're you're killing a few zombies. That's, that's great. Then we have Slaughter Slide, which is essentially PhD Slider. Every time you slide, it explodes. However, this only activates six times, so it's really bad. Then we have Burt Out, which makes it so that if a zombie hits you, a big burst of flames kills any zombies surrounding you. It's it's basically like one use of Widow's Wine. It's so bad. And then we have Crawl Space, which is a terrible, terrible gobble gum. It makes it so that any zombies near you turn into crawlers. The only reason people use this is when they're making the Void Bow on DE. And then we have Licensed Contractor, which spawns three Carpenter power-ups. So you get 600 free points, basically, which is fine. And then we have Head Drama, which makes it so that all of your bullets hit the head, even if you're shooting their body. So basically, it's a gobble gum to make your aim better. It's, it's not very good. Literally, you can just not use this gobble gum and just aim. Then we have Disorderly Combat, which cycles through a bunch of weapons for like a minute or something. In normal use situations, this can be like whatever. Sometimes you'll get really bad weapons that you actually can't use if you're on a higher round. But if you're on a lower round and don't want to spend points on getting a gun, then I guess this can be kind of useful. But the reason it's kind of higher on the list is because you can use this on the starting room in No Man's Land of Moon and get so many points because it's unlimited zombies in there before you even start the game. So that's extremely good. That's basically unlimited points on Moon. The next spot is going to Unbearable, which basically protects you once when you get a teddy bear from the mystery box and it'll respin it automatically. This is just good if you're trying to get like monkeys or something before a boss fight and you have so many points and you don't want to keep dealing with the bad RNG of the box and getting teddy bears multiple times before you actually get what you want. The next spot is going to Ephemeral Enhancement. If you have a regular gun, this just pack-a-punches your gun for 60 seconds and you have two uses. This can be good if there's like a boss zombie on an early round and you don't have a good weapon, but that's basically it. And then we have Respin Cycle, which allows you to respin the box for free and you have two uses of this, I believe. This is fine. It saves you like almost 2,000 points of the box and it allows you to get a new gun if you're spinning the box early and don't like what you get. The next spot is going to Bullet Boost, which basically just double pack a punches your weapon and you get two uses out of this. This is pretty good because it saves you 5,000 points, which is always a plus. And then we have Temporal Gift, which makes your power-ups last twice as long and this lasts the entire round. This can be useful in a lot of situations. So for example, if you're on a high round and you get an insta-kill, it'll last way, way longer. If you have teammates that are using other Gobble Gum to spawn power-ups, it can be synergized really well with that. And if you get like a double points early in the game, you can keep that double points for so long and get a really nice head start. Next up, we have Flavor Hexed. I have no idea where to put this because it literally just gives you a random Gobble Gum. So I wanted to put it kind of in the middle because it can give you some of the best Gobble Gums in the game or it can give you some of the worst. Then we have Dead of Nuclear Winter. This is decent. Unfortunately, you can't really use this as a get out of jail free card because if you get cornered, you don't have enough time to actually pop this Gobble Gum. But it is nice just to get an extra 800 points when a round is switching. And it's also nice for speedrunners who use this to cycle rounds. Next up, we have Crate Power, which allows you to pack a bunch of any weapon you get out of the box. This can be very, very nice. But unfortunately, if you want to save this Gobble Gum for the actual weapon that you want from the box, you'll have to keep spinning the box and not pick up any weapon that you get from there. But it is really nice because you'll get that weapon instantly pack a punch, which can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. And the next one is going to Wall Power. This is the same exact thing, but it pack a punches any wall gun that you pick up. The wall guns in Black Ops 3 are extremely strong. You have stuff like the ICR and the KRM. The reason I like this one better than Cray Power is because it can get you set up way earlier, and I'm all about the quick and efficient setup. Then we have Fear and Headlights, which freezes every single enemy type that you're looking at. This can be really good for just killing bosses or for doing many of the Easter egg steps, especially on like the escort steps for Gorod Krovi. Next up, we have Pop Shocks. In most situations, this actually isn't a very good Gobble Gum, but it can insta-kill bosses, which is really nice, especially on Shadows of Evil when you have to kill a bunch of Margos for the Easter egg steps. Then we have Fatal Contraption, which spawns a Death Machine power-up. The Death Machine power-up is just a really good way to fill up soul boxes or a good way to, you know, damage bosses or anything. So it's just a nice temporary power boost. Plus the Death Machine on Black Ops 3 is actually so good. And then we have I'm Feeling Lucky, which just spawns a random power-up. I think this is pretty decent because it can spawn you a perk power-up, which is really nice. Or it can spawn you, you know, an insta-kill or a double points. However, it can spawn you a carpenter, which obviously wouldn't be very good. But you do get two activations of this, which can be really, really helpful. Then we have Idolize, which basically just makes every zombie stand still when you activate it for 30 seconds. And it has three activations 
weapons, so it's actually pretty good, and it's really, really useful on Easter egg steps where you need the zombies to just stay out of your way. Like for the Shadows of Evil boss fight, that's really helpful. It's basically like using a monkey, but in a gobble gun form. And it lasts for 30 seconds, which is actually very, very good. I don't know if this works on bosses though. Next up, we have Killjoy, which spawns in an insta kill power up, and it has two activations, which is obviously very, very good, because depending on what round you're on, an insta kill can last you for the entire round, and it's a really good way to just rack up points with your knife. Then we have Unquenchable, which gives you an extra perk slot, which is always nice because that means you can get Double Tap, or you can get Widow's Wine, or other essential perks that help you survive. And then we have Round Robin, which lets you skip a round, and it gives everybody in your team 1600 points, which is extremely good for getting set up in a game, especially if you have a foreman. Then we have On the House, which spawns in a perk drop. This gives a perk for every single person on your team, which is really good because if everybody uses On the House, then you can basically get a free Perkaholic without actually having Perkaholic. But the only problem with this Gobble Gum is that it can give you stuff like Deadshot. If you're on PC, Deadshot basically does nothing. So it can give you really useful perks, but it can also give you really bad perks that you don't really need. Then we have Undead Man Walking, which brings every single zombie to a slow walking speed. This is just extremely good for a lot of Easter egg steps, especially on the escort missions of Goron Krovi. But it's also just really nice to have in your inventory if you want a little bit of a break, because it lasts for four minutes, which is very, very long. Next up, we have Killing Time, which basically just freezes everything in place, but you can still shoot things and you can still move around. So it's good for Easter egg steps. It's good for getting rid of bosses. It's good for Codename Pizza Myth Busting. It's just an overall really, really good gobble gum. Next up, we have Who's Keeping Score, which spawns in a double points drop, and it has two activations. Double points are one of the most essential drops to have early in your game, especially if you're going for Easter egg completions, or if you just want to get set up really early. It's always nice to have more points, and since you have two activations of it, it's really, really good. Then we have Extra Credit, which gives you just free points, basically. It has four activations, and each activation gives you 1,250 points, and 2,500 points each if double points is active. So this means that you can get 10,000 points from one gobble gum if you have double points on. That's so good. Then we have Cashback, which spawns one max ammo drop. Having a max ammo available is just always a good thing, no matter what, because it reduces the RNG of having to actually kill zombies to get a max ammo. So if you find yourself running out of ammo in like a boss fight, or if you find yourself running out of ammo in some sort of wonder weapon, this is a really good way to get that back. But the reason it's kind of lower on this list is because Alchemical Antithesis, which is a free gobble gum, is significantly better than this. Although Cashback gives everybody on the team max ammo, so that's very good. Then we have Phoenix Up, which just instantly revives anybody that's down on the map. Obviously, this is terrible on solo because you literally can't use it, but it's so strong if you think that you're not going to be able to pick somebody up on the other side of the map or something. And it's really helpful in the boss fights on this game. I know a lot of people struggle with Goron Krovi's boss fight, but using Phoenix Up can completely change the boss fight from three people downed to everybody alive. Then we have Profit Sharing, which makes it so that basically any points that you earned are also given to every other player on the team. This can be so strong if everybody optimizes their points early on in the match, and it's basically giving you like unlimited points from the start of the game. Then we have Aftertaste, which makes it so that when you go down, you keep every single perk except for Quick Revive if you're on solo, and it lasts three rounds, which is extremely nice. This is a really good perk to have for boss fights or for hard Easter egg steps in case you don't want to lose your perks. Then we have Soda Fountain, which is just a poor man's perkaholic. Every time you buy a perk, it gives you another random free perk, and it ignores the perk limit. And this has five activations, so you could get every single perk on the map just by using this gobble gum. However, unlike Perkaholic, you do actually have to spend your points on these perks, but it's still, it's it's basically Perkaholic. Then we have Power Vacuum, which lasts for four rounds, and it makes power-ups spawn so frequently. It's actually so good. It can give you a ton of points, it can give you a ton of insta-kills, a ton of nukes, and it's mostly nice for high rounds because it lets you get through the rounds much quicker than you would otherwise. Like, once you get up to the hundreds, it sometimes takes like 10 minutes to finish an entire round, and this just speeds up the process a ton. And the sixth spot is going to Raindrops. This is the ultimate speedrunner's dream. Raindrops spawns every single power-up in the game, and you have two activations of it. So it's just a really well-rounded gobble gum because you can get double points, or you can get a nuke if you want it, or you can get a perk drop. Like, there's literally every single power-up with this. It's so good. We're finally onto the top five best mega gobble gums in this game. The fifth spot is going to Perkaholic. Perkaholic just gives you every single perk that's available on that map. And this is obviously one of the most well-known gobble gums because it's just so easy to use. You just pop it once and then you're done. It reduces the risk of dying by like a thousand percent. It's so, so strong and you can literally get it on round one, which is very good. The fourth spot is going to Immolation Liquidation. This allows you to spawn three fire sails, which is obviously very good for getting set up with your weapons and your loadout. You can get the Wonder Weapon, you can get Monkeys, you can get, you know, a Dingo, a Haymaker, a Brecci, any of those extremely easy.
easily. Plus, it works for all four players on your team, so everybody can get set up. This is one of the go-to gobble gums on Goron Krovi and Revelations. The third spot is going to Shopping Free, which makes all purchases free for an entire minute. This is one of the best gobble gums in the game because if you get it on round one, you could have the entire map open by round one, and it'll save you so many points, and it'll let you get set up really early, it'll let you get to soul boxes faster, it'll let you do whatever you want faster. Plus, you can use it on the gobble gum machine right before it runs out to get another gobble gum that round. The second spot is going to self-medication, which makes it so that when you down a zombie, you get instantly revived and you keep all of your perks. And this includes quick revive if you're on solo, which is so good. Plus, you have three activations of this, which means you can essentially cycle it and have infinite revives. The only problem with this gobble gum is it doesn't really work on high rounds because zombies have so much health anyway that it's very unlikely that you'll actually get a kill. And the best gobble gum, the most overpowered gobble gum in in all of Black Ops 3 Zombies is going to Near Death Experience. This lasts for three full rounds, and it's mostly overpowered on solo, but it's also extremely overpowered on co-op. On solo, it just revives you. Like, that's literally all it does. It revives you, and it gives you all of your perks back whenever you go down. So this literally breaks all difficulty of Black Ops 3 Easter eggs, because you can bring this into the boss fight and never have to worry about going down. Like, it literally gives you unlimited revives in boss fights. It's, it's way too strong. But if you are on co-op, obviously it does not do this. Instead, it allows you to revive players by being near them. And these revived players keep all their perks as well. So it's essentially like using aftertaste, but for other people. And you don't actually have to be extremely close to the person to revive them. So it's a really good way to revive someone while continuing shooting, or to be able to revive someone while you throw a monkey, or to be able to revive someone while you do literally anything else. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with this list down below.